picture of me as being like, oh, men are only motivated by sex. Um, no, but that's part of the, the puzzle. But once you get married, other things do motivate you, right? And other things motivated you to want to marry the person. And then marriage turns, makes you something else, right? I mean, it, it's, uh, you come to appreciate different things about your spouse. Right. Even just, love emerges at one point. You're talking about that. You yeah, so I mean, right? it, it yeah. is. It's kind of funny. It sounds like I don't believe in love or something. No, um, you talk about it as a sociologist. It, is, it, yeah, it, it emerges. I don't believe that people sort of yeah. in love at first sight. I mean, yeah. that's just kind of like yeah. uh, you can you can have attraction at first sight, yeah. right? You can have a, a nice, a good vibe at first meeting, but uh, love is something that to be nurtured and grow. I mean, yeah. lust does not have to be nurtured. I mean, that, that happens rather promptly often. Uh, and I, one idea I think it's very important to hit and talk about is the idea of the so-called cultural lag, and you've already alluded sure. to this and talk about it, the idea that it takes time for technology to alter behavioral expectations and norms. So for example, yeah. something like the pill, or now that we're seeing internet porn, and, and yeah. all of these other things. Right. So can you talk about cultural sure. lag? Yeah. As an idea? I'll give you an example, of, yeah. of uh, an easy example of cultural lag, the, the, the cell phone, okay? Um, I don't remember if I say this in the book, but like there was, those of us who had them fairly early can remember going into restrooms and then the phone would ring and you'd be embarrassed as hell that, that phone rang while you were in a public bathroom, right? And now, like, people go right on talking. I mean, <laughs> so you, you see, like, oh, the technology has changed, but norms of behavior in response to what the technology enables takes longer to, to, to develop, and those things, those norms change over time. So how, how do I translate to this? Um, a couple different ways, right? So, the pill comes online in 1960, they invent it, right? Uh, and then they try to restrict it, or it was attempted to be restricted to married couples. That didn't stand uh, a Supreme Court test. So in the early 70s, everybody has access to this so that's prescription. Um, but, I mean, it just doesn't change everything overnight, so to speak. Uh, I take that back. In 1960, the, the amount of, I think it's, is it, uh, estrogen and progesterone in the pill was so high that it changed. Uh, uh, I mean, bra makers had to had to, to to start making larger bras because it changed women's breast size rapidly. That has gone away because they figured, oh, we we put way too much of it in that. We can let's get by with as little as possible, right? So, what changes overnight in terms of people's normative behavior? <coughs> Very little, until a decade, two decades. So I give you the, the example, and here is is um, my sister-in-law uh, is married at nineteen, um, divorced. Her daughter marries at age, I think it's thirty-ish, right after cohabiting for several years, and. Um, the, 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 the niece of the, the, the groom claims to never want to marry at all because she doesn't need a man, right? So you, you, you can kind of map, like, the effects of, of, of the, the pill on needing marriage, right? We don't need it, right? People still want it, but when you don't need something, your behavior is going to be different than when you need it, okay? Which is culturally and economically survives it, socially. Uh, so there's a lag time here, right? And it can be extensive lag time. So I think now we're coming into this era where um, education levels among men and women are, are rising, especially among women. They don't need marriage. None of the women in this audience need to marry to live a successful life. They may want to, but it's different than if you need to. Will they? I don't know. Fewer of them will than did 30 years ago. So that's, that's, a, that's a result of sort of the, the lag in normative expected behavior made possible by a technology that's been around for a long time. But it didn't, you know, the change in 
norms and, and, and behavior patterns for this took quite some time. Yeah, I, um, I'll end on uh, just 